everyone. Welcome to my Clueless Inspired Lush Bath Cocktail. I kind of came across this movie when I was doing my movie tag and I just thought, you know, I haven't done a cocktail on this and I keep thinking about it, so I'm going to go ahead and just go for it. So, this is the movie case. I think it's like the most recent edition, the whatever edition. Um, I definitely have this on videotape and I wish I still had the videotape to show you but I don't have it anymore. Um, so yeah, I've loved this movie forever. It came out in fifth grade when I was in fifth grade and oh my goodness, we were obsessed with this. I think I saw it like three times at the movie theater at least. So. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the cocktail. First for the bath bomb, I'm going to choose two. I'm going to be a little bit high maintenance because that's how Cher is. First I'm going to use the pink bath bomb, which smells like vanilla and tonka bean. Um, it's a really nice girly smell. And I just think that Cher is so girly that that's a perfect fit. But I wanted it to kind of have a twist, so I'm going to use half of a Liquid Valium bath bomb from Bath Junkie. And you can find these on bathjunkie.com, or if you have a Bath Junkie near you, you can use that. You can go there too. Um, it has, kind of smells like a really sweet orange sweet tart. But it has like bergamot in it and mandarin and it does have some lavender but I don't really pick that up too much whenever I smell this. Um, it's really nice in the bath. It's really strong. So um, since its name is Liquid Valium I kind of, kind of thought of like prescription drugs and partying and it made me think of the party that they all went to in the valley where it was like a Christmas themed party but it wasn't even Christmas time and then afterwards Cher gets held up and you know they mug her this guy does and Josh comes to rescue her so anyway I thought that one would work out well then for my bubble bar I'm gonna use Yuzu and Coco which is a newer bubble bar it's actually a bubble rune I'm only gonna use half of this it's held together with coconut butter um, it says this smells like chocolate and orange, but I don't really get that. I think it smells more like a pina colada. And I thought that would be good because a pina colada reminds me of the beach. And she doesn't live like on an island or anything, but she does live in California in Beverly Hills. So it kind of made me think of, you know, California or places that have beaches. So I thought that would be good. And it would fit in well with the other scents we're having in the cocktail. Then for my bath melts, I'm going to explore the use of my massage bars as bath melts. So I'm going to use the Each Peach and Two's a Pear massage bar. This smells really citrusy. Um, so I thought this would work out well. Um, I'm probably just going to use a little chunk of it, probably just like that much, and see how it works out for me. If you don't want to use a massage bar for a bath melt, you could always use the Marshmallow Moment. That one would work out just fine, too. I thought this would kind of be good for the two's a pair, um, kind of how Cher and Josh, um, and that's Alicia Silverstone and Paul Rudd, for a while they're just hanging out and start to become friends, even though they used to be step-siblings. And then by the end, they end up falling in love. So throughout the movie, they're quite the pair, and they go through a lot of changes, obviously. Oh, I didn't lay the soap out. It's still laying here on my bed. But for the soap, I chose Sultana of Soap. It smells like a really good musky berry smell. If you've never smelled it, I do recommend smelling it the next time you're in Lush. It has a very unique smell. I love it. And I just thought this would kind of be good because Sultana means like the king or, you know, the ruler. And Cher kind of rules the school. So I thought that that would be a good soap to use. I'll just put it over there. Then for the shower gel, I thought it would be good to use 
olive branch. There were a few other ones that came to mind, but I thought that this would be good because Cher extends the olive branch to Ty, played by Brittany Murphy, and then they become friends. So extending the olive branch kind of means like you're going out of your way to be nice to someone, or maybe you're making up from a fight or something, but I was kind of thinking of the very beginning of the movie when Cher and Dion are saying that Ty is so adorably clueless, so anyways, that's what I kind of thought with that one, and it does have a very unique citrusy smell, and you need to make sure you um, shake it up. Then for my shampoo and conditioner, I'm going to use, um, I've been trying to use these a lot, kind of to test them out so I can do a review on them for you guys. I'm going to use the Lemon Cello, or Lemon Cello, however you want to say it, Italian Soda from Philosophy. You can use it as a shampoo, and I've used it that way a few times. So it, it's cool because it has that like fizzy note to it. I'm going to use that. And, um, you know, I didn't really have a big reason for using these two, um, other than I thought it went well with the rest of the cocktail. Then I'm going to use Veganese as my conditioner. Um, it's kind of like citrusy. It does have some lavender in it, but I think that the lemon kind of overtakes the lavender. And just, you know, those scents being so bright and refreshing, it kind of reminds me of the whole... Um, setting of the movie. Everything's really like bright and sunny in California. Then for my candle I'm gonna be melting I'm gonna I used like a little over a little under a half when I did the Legally Blonde cocktail. Um, since they live in California I'm gonna use the Malibu Smash candle again and melt a little bit more of it probably half of what's left so I'll probably end up using this as thirds. So that just has like a sweet but um, deeper smell too. It has like citrus and blackberries, but it also has brown sugar and bourbon in it. So I thought that would be a nice smell that goes with the bath, but has a little bit of its own individuality too. Then I'm going to finish with the yuzu and cocoa. Um, perfume. I haven't used this as much as I've wanted to so I've been sitting it out recently so I can remember to use it and it was from a forum special but I think they still have it available on the Lush USA website. And then I thought this cocktail wouldn't be complete without a fancy lip gloss so this is one of my Chanel lip glosses and this is from the spring summer collection Glossomer. I don't know what it's actually called. It says 166, but I know it had an actual color. But it's just really shimmery, uh, like peachy pink. So I know Cher wore more like hot pink and red lips when this was made. But I bet if she, if they made this movie now, it would be more like a corally color. So more in style. I'm going to go run the bath and I'll meet you in there. Okay, so I've run the water. I'm going to put in the pink bath bomb. I know I showed you a different one. This is the one I actually have that I need to use up. It's starting to become a little discolored. So I'm going to get rid of that one. So I'm using up all my stuff in the order that I've bought it. Really good bright pink. And then I'm also going to put this one in too, the liquid volume. Then I've cut up my bath melt. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Well, it's actually my massage bar. Mmm, this smells good. And then I'm going to put in my yuzu and cocoa. Okay, everything's just about fizzed out, and I just felt the each peach and it already had a good layer that it was melting off so I'm confident that this will work 
as long as you put them in in small chunks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the jets. Okay, so the bubbles are very fizzy. The bubble runes tend to be that way. Um, but I'm seeing like a dark pink water. Not really a coral, but a really dark pink, which is great for clueless. So, I'm trying to. There, you can see a little bit. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this cocktail. It smells wonderful. I can't wait to jump in. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye.